Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. It's 5.37, welcome back. Well, usually after a fresh snowfall, we walk outside to play in that new snow or make a snowman or even shovel. But the next time you step foot outside your house after it snows, be sure to stop and listen because you won't hear much. And that's actually the point. New this morning, meteorologist Amber Wheeler is here to explain why our surroundings are much quieter after that snow falls, and that's uh, in this week's weatherwise. So, Amber, what is this all about? <laughs> well, Alicia, you know, after, interesting. <laughs> after a new snow, the last thing that we're doing is really paying attention to what we're hearing, right? Especially if you have the job of shoveling that new snow. But the next time it snows, be sure to pay attention to the snow, or to the sound, rather, because fresh snowfall absorbs more sound, making our environment uh, sound quieter. After that snow melts or crusts over, the sound is back to normal. But let's break down the science behind why this is happening and it's actually very simple so okay we have fresh snowfall right it just snowed it didn't really but let's pretend like it did and when you have these individual snowflakes there's more air in between them the snowflakes have just laid on top of each other the snow is fluffier and more porous which absorbs sound so so this is much like what you find in audio booths or that porous material that you find on the walls of theaters and gymnasiums and even TV studios for that matter. The material is designed to minimize sound and this fresh snow does the exact same thing. Now when the snow is melted or crusted over from melting and refreezing, it's obviously not as fluffy and porous. It's not like a snowflake form with air in between. It's actually got no air in between it and the sound just bounces off. Our environment is at more of a normal sound sound level rather uh, when it's this case. So, uh, so again, when you're outside after a snowfall, really pay attention because you'll hear exactly what I'm talking about. Another cold weather aspect of sound is that it doesn't travel as far, doesn't travel as well, I should say, in cold air. In fact, the sound at 10 degrees will travel at about 724 miles per hour. That's really fast, right? But that same sound at 80 degrees will travel at 776 miles per hour, over 50 miles per hour faster than the colder air. Cold air is denser, so the sound has a harder time traveling than if it were in warmer air. And I have a temperature and speed calculator on our website. If you head there, if you're curious, head to kxnet.com. This story is in the weatherwise section and you can plug in any temperature you want to see how fast the sound does travel. And Alicia, I think it's a given that the sound is traveling much faster now than what it was over the weekend when we were in that Arctic grip. Oh boy, isn't that the truth? So we'll, we'll enjoy that faster sound this week and maybe a little beyond while yeah. we can. <laughs> All right, thanks, Amber. And there's still plenty of news and weather ahead on Good Day Dakota.